Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. I'm joined by Chelsea football's Lucas Dawson. How's it going, man? Going pretty good. All right. Um, before we get into the 10 burning questions, um, talk about how the how practice has been going and getting ready for uh, your first game against uh, Trenton next week. Practice is going great, you know. We're coming together as a family today, so we're prepared for week one. All right. Um, okay, here we go. Of course, if, you, if you've seen these, these are the same 10 questions I ask a bunch of um, high school football players that we've had, that we've had on, uh, that we've had on already. All right. Uh, first one is how do you mentally prepare for a game? For me, I mean, Personally, the mental part is the biggest part of the game. And for me, it's just getting in the zone early. You know, wake up, get a good breakfast in, you know, and immediately get your mind to the game and prepared and then make yourself not get distracted and just be ready for what's coming. All right. Um, on a scale of one to 10, how well do you manage your time? Uh, it's the upper area, nine or 10. I mean, I'm always not planning everything out, but I always got a schedule. I mean, I do mostly the same thing. So I always know what's going on. Absolutely. Um, if you got to pick one social media app to use and drop the rest, what would you use? Good question. Um, I don't know. It's a really good question. I'm not big on social media, so not really familiar with all this stuff and like all the things that go around, but honestly, for me, I'd probably have to choose Instagram. That feels best for me. It's the one I use. I don't really have anything else. So for me, it'd probably be Instagram. Okay. Um, what's on your game day playlist? Me? Uh, I got a little bit of everything, you know, got some rap, some country, uh, Stuff that just gets me in the zone, but a little bit of everything usually. Okay. Um, on a scale of one to 10, how good are you at replying to text messages? I'm pretty up there. Uh, I usually get back to them pretty quick. Uh, when people respond to and text to me and talk to me, I talk to them back, make sure they get what they need. And if they ask me, I make sure they get the answer. Would you say that you're a 10? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Um, what's TV or streaming show that you're really into right now? Uh, for me, it's all American. Uh, I'm really into that show. I really like it. And of course, it's about football. And I really think it's a good show to watch and it really teaches a lot of lessons personally. Yep. Um, okay, here's an interesting one. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? I just talked to my dad about this the other day. It definitely have to be a fly. That would definitely be the one. Uh, a lot of a lot of people didn't say fly, but um, and lately the last few I've done of these have everyone's been saying that. So yeah. um, pretty interesting for sure. Um, okay. So here's so here's a here's a, another one you'll really have to think about this one. Hmm. What is the earliest football memory that you have? That's a good one. Um, <laughs> a really good one. Yeah. I mean, for me, it'd probably be going back to uh, I don't even know how old I was, but sitting in the it's yard. The, the catch. first thing that you can think of. Yeah, for me, it'd probably be. Uh, playing catch in the backyard with my dad and my older cousin. That would definitely be that. Man, how old were you at the time, if you, do you, if you remember? Probably around seven, eight, somewhere in there. Nice. Um, what is your pregame meal before a game? Uh, for me? Uh, lots of carbs usually, usually lots of carbs. Um, I usually eat a salad before and then 
lots of fruits too. And then always tons of water. Nice. Okay. Um, here's the last one. Mm -hmm. If you could give advice to your younger self, something you know now, but didn't know then, what would it be? Always chase what you want. I mean, being younger, there was some times where I'd like, I'd want something, but I think it out of reach. So, you know, I kind of give up on it, but you always got to chase what you want, no matter what. I mean, your dream is your dream. And if it's what you want, it's achievable. And you just got to know that. Yeah. All right. Well, Lucas, that's all I got for you, bud. Um, good luck this season and good luck next week against Trenton. Thank you.